Limoges enamel was produced at Limoges, France, already the most famous, but not the most high quality, European center of vitreous enamel production by the 12th century. Its works were known as Opus de Limogia or Labor Limogerie. Limoges became famous for Champlevé enamels, producing on a large scale, and then from the 15th century retained its lead by switching to painted enamel, often in grisaille, on flat metal plaques or vessels of many forms. Champlevé plaques and chasse caskets, or reliquaries, were eventually almost mass-produced and affordable by parish churches and the gentry. However the highest quality Champlevé work came from the Mosin Valley, and later the Basset Thai enamelers of Paris led the top end of the market. The industry was already in decline by 1370, when the brutal sack of the city after the siege of Limoges by the English, led by Edward the Black Prince, effectively ended it. From the late 15th century Limoges enamel revived, now in painted enamel on thin flat copper surfaces, and in the French Renaissance was the leading center, with several dynastic workshops, who often signed or punch marked their work. Limoges enamel was usually applied on a copper base, but also sometimes on silver or gold. Preservation is often excellent due to the toughness of the material employed, and the cheaper Limoges works on cop have survived at a far greater rate than courtly work on precious metals. Some of the early Limoges enamel pieces display a band in pseudo-Kufic script, which was a recurrent ornamental feature in Limoges and had long been adopted in Aquitaine. Pieces of Limoges enamel. Limoges cross this piece is simply known as central plaque from across and is by an unknown artist. It is thought to be from the first third of the 13th century from Limoges, France. It currently resides in the San Francisco Legion of Honor in the medieval art galleries. The piece is made of copper, but the champlevé is the technique used to make the carved out parts that will later be filled with the enamel. The uncarved area is usually gilded to help frame the enameled portions. The town of Limoges was home to the Abbey of Saint Marshall and its massive library, which made it a booming artistic center. It was home to composers of medieval music who attended the Saint Marshall School. By the 12th century, Limoges was famous for its enamel works, though they were not the highest quality. This cross was probably used in the Abbey of Saint Marshall probably as a processional cross, because the Abbey had such an artistic influence on the town. It is possible that either a monk made it for the Abbey, or the Abbey commissioned one of the artists to make it for them. This cross also has some jewels outlining it. The shapes in the background are mostly circular. Limoges reliquary casket This reliquary casket depicts scenes from the death of Thomas Beckett. Saint Thomas Beckett was murdered while in Canterbury Cathedral, supposedly on the wishes of King Henry II of England. Scenes from the death of Thomas Beckett were popular sources of inspiration for the artists of Limoges, with over 45 such caskets surviving today. It currently resides in the San Francisco Legion of Honor in the Medieval Art Galleries. Gallery Pseudo Kufic in Limoges Enamel Saborium, circa 1200. 13th century chasse, late 15th century triptych, painted plaque, 1530, 16th century portrait plaque, 17th century painted plaque, 17th century painted grisite plaque, Limoges enameled copper plate, attributed to Noel to Lauden, circa 1700.